We all know the COVID-19 pandemic hasn't been easy on healthcare professionals, but as some anticipate another surge in cases this fall, one healthcare leader is asking for the community's help once again. Anxiety over the unknown, near capacity volume, and lots of PPE. That's what Christy Hecker recalls from the early days of the pandemic and the toll it took on her nurses. You could just see their, their poor faces and their poor ears and the damage that this PPE um, did to their skin and they would take a breath, dawn on some new equipment and go to the next patient. And they did this for 12 hours, 16 hours a day at times. To avoid a similar situation this fall, Hecker encourages people to follow COVID-19 protocols such as masking, social distancing, and getting the COVID-19 vaccine if possible. That emotional strength to do this again is is kind of hard to get behind these days. So um, that's why we're worried. So we need our friends and neighbors in the community to really rally again and get vaccinated and take those COVID safe precautions. It's a challenging time for healthcare professionals, both physically and mentally. So how can they cope and continue to treat patients in these situations, especially at times when people may not see eye to eye? I'm sure it's really hard to separate out from what they're thinking and feeling and then having to do their job. So sometimes when we have people that are in stressful situations, we have to remind them of their circle of control. The things I can control is myself, my actions, how I feel about things and what I do about things. And when it comes to coping, Caitlin Carmody suggests the 54321 grounding technique. That helps bring you back into the moment because sometimes when we're overwhelmed, we can spiral out on our anxiety. A few methods healthcare leaders can use to help themselves as they look to the community for support. Kelsey Dickinson, NBC 26.